May the blood of Jesus protect and guard you always. Believers' victory in Christ has always been anchored in their faith, in the sacrifice of Christ with his own blood. The scriptures are filled with this revelation. The Bible makes us understand that the believers' victories over Satan and his cohorts have always been made possible by the blood of Jesus. As a matter of fact, scripturally, blood is multidimensional in operation, multipurpose in application, and multilevel in function. Apart from being a tool for judgment, it is also a tool for cleansing, sanctification, and redemption, as well as bringing us closer to Christ. Each of these levels and dimensions is represented in the scriptures, and the scriptures also adequately express all of that. The blood was acknowledged as a weapon of victory in Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11. For the Bible says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death. And in Revelation, chapter 5, verses 8 through 10, the blood was adjudged and credited with a tool of redemption. There the Bible says, now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a harp, and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll, and to open its seals. For you were slain, and have redeemed us to God by your blood, out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. However, basically, the blood of Jesus is God's ordained weapon of protection and victory, for those who believe in him, and also for the believer's victory over everything, that confronts or opposes the liberty they have in Christ through faith. The blood of Christ, if efficiently utilized, is capable of anything, anywhere, at any time, without the limitations of race, tribe, language, or people. The blood of Christ is the last resort, that can break and destroy any evil, that stands in your way, as the child of God. The blood of Christ is very efficient and effective, even when other things have failed. Just as we saw with the children of Israel in Egypt, in Exodus, chapter 12, beginning with verse 21. The children of Israel were almost denied exit until blood entered the picture. And after sprinkling blood on the lintel of their doors, their victory over the Egyptian servitude and slavery was effected overnight. And the following morning, the Egyptians were hurrying them to leave. And concerning cleansing, sanctification, redemption, and freedom from sin, the Bible says in Hebrews 9, verse 22. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. Those and many more, therefore, make blood multidimensional in effect and a veritable tool for Christian victory. As we pray today, child of God, every situation that has proven to be stubborn in your life must bow in total defeat, and your victory shall be established through the blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for the mystery of the blood of Jesus Christ, with which you have given us victory over Satan, his demons, and their cohorts. Therefore, dear Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you let this mystery of the blood of Jesus, effect every needed change, in the lives of my listeners. Let your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, bring healing, deliverance, protection, restoration, financial breakthrough, breaking of yokes, and all-round success for my listeners. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your blood speak mercy and grace, according to Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 24. To Jesus the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than that of Abel. O Lord, let your blood speak grace, favor, honor, prosperity, wealth, and riches unto the lives of all my listeners, in the name of Jesus Christ. By the force of the blood of Jesus Christ, let every resistant, ugly situation in your life, my listener, bow out now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your covered and eclipsed glorious destinies emerge and be manifested today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Exodus 12, verse 13 says. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Father, 
I hereby sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ upon everyone under my voice, their businesses, their careers, and their vocations and avocations, and I decree and declare that by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, death, sickness, and misfortunes shall pass and not touch your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, child of God, by the blood of Jesus Christ, diseases and afflictions shall pass over you and not touch you. Child of God, lack and abjection will pass over you and not touch you. Child of God, want and deprivation will pass over you and not touch you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, as your word declares in Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11, saying, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death. O Lord, I hereby declare for my listeners an all-round victory, victory over attacks on their health and businesses, victory over physical and spiritual attacks on their faith. In the name of Jesus. O Lord, give them victory over attacks on their marriage, victory over attacks on their relationship, and victory over attackers of every good thing that is to come their way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ on all my listeners for protection in their homes, workplaces, businesses, and everywhere they will go this year and beyond. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, in your word in 1 John, chapter 5, verse 8, it says, And there are three that bear witness on earth, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three agree as one. Therefore Lord, let your blood bear witness for my listeners that they are saved, that they are redeemed, that they are your children, whom you died for and freed from the corruptions of the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, by the blood of the new covenant, I decree and declare the entry of my listeners into your covenant of peace and all-round rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. This I ask in accordance with your word of Mark, chapter 14, verse 24, that says, And he said to them, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. Father, Lord, by this new covenant, let my listeners enjoy a new order of favor, a new order of fame, a new order of honor, a new order of strength, and a new order of wisdom, higher and better than all that they have ever known. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the old order of shame, reproaches, lack and want, servitude and slavery, failure and near success syndrome be gone forever in their life, family, and household by this new covenant. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, by your word in Zechariah 9, verse 11, which says, As for you also, because of the blood of your covenant, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Therefore, Father, by the blood of this new covenant, Lord, set everyone under my voice free from every uncomplimentary, dehumanizing, and debilitating situation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, cause your children to partake in communion with you, let them eat of your flesh and blood for healing, health, and revitalization. In the name of Jesus Christ, in accordance with St. John, chapter 6, verse 53, which says, Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Lord, give my listeners fresh life through your flesh and blood. Let all the good things they are looking for begin to locate them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let your blood shield your children, their possessions, and all that you have blessed them with. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, dear Father Lord, for hearing and answering us, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.